Each school has their own way of putting their mark on the profession of dentistry, and USC certainly has theirs. Nowhere else in the country gives the student an exposure to so much that's part of dentistry. We just say to the students, we'll help you do all of it. We want you to see everything. Everyone thinks of dentistry in the mouth as this silo that's just separate from medical health. And in reality, there's surgery, there's pathology, there's lots of different things, not just aesthetic and restorative types of dentistry. The Herman Ostro School of Dentistry of USC encompasses all of these fields through research, education, and application, while also leading the way in clinical breakthroughs that are redefining the role and scope of modern-day dental medicine around the world. This includes genetic testing through saliva, a technique pioneered here at Ostro. Whatever is present in blood in a smaller quantity is also present in saliva. So that's why saliva is looked at as a fountain of opportunity. With a drop of saliva, one can look at not only the genetic makeup of the patient that determines the susceptibility to the disease, but also the biomarkers that are present at various stage of the disease. Our studies of infectious disease extend into pathology and include groundbreaking therapies that will potentially alter the way antibiotics function in the body. Infectious diseases particularly have been linked from the mouth to lots of other areas in the body. One of my main areas of research is osteonecrosis of the jaw, which is basically a condition where in cancer patients, parts of their jawbone just start to fall off and die. I recently received an NIH grant to synthesize, develop, and test this therapeutic. It's creating a novel antibiotic to target these types of infections. And when the chemical goes into the bone, it releases the antibiotic, and then the antibiotic kills the bacteria and the biofilms that are there. So this kind of target and release strategy is novel. There is no such therapeutic on the market now. We're also pioneering innovations in non-invasive or biomimetic dentistry. Biomimetic, it's in, in its original definition, means to remove only the diseased tissue and keep intact the healthy tissue. And believe me, this is not what is being done out there in private practice. Our most recent breakthroughs are happening in the area of congenital birth defects, such as craniosynostosis and cleft palate, where our scientists are creating the same genetic mutation in animal models in order to better predict and treat human anomalies in utero. These advances in gene therapy have led to new discoveries in stem cell regeneration. One of the challenges the surgeon face when treating these kids with congenital birth defects is often they don't have enough tissue to correct a cleft or a gap. So that's where the stem cell therapy comes in. You know, stem cells are truly remarkable. We can reactivate these cells and guide them to form the tissue that we wanted to form. So we'll be able to use these stem cells to regenerate bone, to regenerate muscle, to regenerate a tooth, to regenerate part of a tongue. I think the beauty of every medical field is that, especially with technology, it is constantly evolving. As students, we're given access for our patients to some of the most uh, advanced technology. For example, like the CAD CAM machines that you see here, I think it sets us ahead light years in terms of other programs. CAD CAM technology is absolutely amazing. The dentist has a camera in his hand. He goes in the mouth, he takes pictures that are three-dimensional pictures of your teeth. Those pictures are processed in a snap by a computer and they can be used for many different purposes. And we can use them to make restorations on teeth. We can use them as a diagnostic purpose to predict what's going to happen. We 
apply what we learn and study in the research and scholarship and translate that to what we see in the community, what we do in the community, and how to impact that. With nearly 200 clinics and community partnerships in Southern California, including the world's largest mobile clinic, Herman Ostro's School of Dentistry is breaking through social barriers and treating more than 70,000 patients a year. Herman Ostrow School of Dentistry has the largest community outreach program in the nation. There's dental clinics that serve populations where these people wouldn't have care otherwise. For the homeless population, we have URM that is located in Ski Road. Patients that go there are trying to make a change in their life. That's where you know you get to put everything that we've been learning and thinking about and reading about into practice. It's really rewarding, really exciting. You feel so good about what you do at the yeah. end of the day. All right. And, and Ostro has been one of the pillars of USC. And, and it's the research and the leadership and the scholars and the educators and their publications. And that's what's really made Ostro a renowned dental school. I would like to think it's the fight on spirit. And fight on means a lot. It means I got your back. I care about you. We have a connection. There is, seems to be a huge trust uh, within the hands of, of USC specifically. And I think Ostro's faculty and former students all did a phenomenal job as to laying down the ground for the legacy and making it possible for us to kind of keep that going. Yeah.